This December I'm making a Christmas calendar using vanilla JavaScript and HTML canvas. In each one of these days I'm going to procedurally generate a unique Christmassy item because I need icons like these around this time and good free ones are hard to come by. I also want to easily scale and color them in different ways. I hope you'll follow along and implement your own versions so I can showcase them in a special video on the 24th. You'll practice working with coordinates, basic math, and various JavaScript programming techniques. It's a good project, I think, to learn about code modularity, reusability, and how to write consistent code. Today is day 9 and we're gonna learn to draw a glove. Coding with Rob. Let's code now. To draw the glove, here below this uh, sock on day 9, we are going to go to index.html and prepare a function for it. We store it in this array at the ninth index, draw glove. And uh, we will implement this in its own file, glove.js. Control clicking this will create it in this items folder. And um, let's implement it so that given an x, y, size, and a hue, I'm going to use these helper variables, top and left, to first draw this bounding box, like so, so that we can use this as a reference when designing our glove. Now, it's going to be quite similar to this uh, sock, so that one had this foot width and this radius controlling this roundness here. So I think we're gonna start in the same way. Uh, variable for palm width. Let's say half the size. I think we can go wider here because um, the socks are naturally long. And the radius is just half of that. And we can use the line method that we implemented previously from the top plus the radius to the bottom minus the radius. I just want to keep the shape inside of the bounding box. Otherwise, it's going to intersect it with the radius extending away from it like that. And the line width is going to be this palm width. And we'll use these round line caps. And let's set the stroke style to the normal hue. And remember to define this bottom here at the top as a helper variable. And there it is. Not much of a glove uh, yet, but we could draw a thumb coming out here. Let's see. I'm going to define for it also variable for the width of this thumb. let's say half the palm width. And now I'm going to use the same line object to draw it from maybe the same starting location, but then going to the left x minus the radius and y. I'm trying to reuse these variables like the radius because very often it gives a result that you're happy with and you don't need to define more variables for them. Of course, you could have parameters in the same way that we controlled the angle for the sock previously. And uh, here I'm just going to copy all of these and replace palm width with thumb width. So save, refresh, and I think I'm happy with this general shape. So the thumb extending here. It's not really a glove, it's a, it's a mitten, but uh, I think mitten is not such a common word, so I'm, I'm using glove. Yeah, mittens are better. The fingers are all together there, so they stay warm. Let's make it look good by drawing this sleeve here as well. So the height will be the radius, and then this width is going to be a little bit more than the palm width. Let's define the width like maybe palm width, extending it by 10%. And then I'm going to draw this one with the lightest color that I have. 
from the top to the top plus the radius in the middle and it's going to be wide so using the sleeve width as this thickness and I don't want this one to be round and then the stroke style let's make it very light like so save refresh and there it is the mitten or glove or yeah speaking about gloves uh, do you remember that weird project i made once with the um, uh augmented virtual reality piano with special glove that you can play the piano in mid-air i think that was a fun one <laughs>